Hello guys! Euro 2020 is entering its final stages and on the Top Football channel, we have already compiled our ranking of five players who, as it seems to us, were the main breakout stars of the tournament. If you are intrigued, then subscribe to the channel. Give a like to this video and share your own top five picks in the comments below. As for now, we are about to start. Before Euro 2020, only a few supporters of the Eredivisie and PSV, for which this guy performs, heard about Denzel Dumfries. Although already in his first match at the group stage of the European Championship against Ukraine, the Dutch defender was remembered for his incredible impact, groundbreaking speed and participation in the team's attacking attempts. In that game, Denzel netted the decisive goal and brought the Flying Dutch a 3-2 victory. Dumfries was praised by experts and fans for his efforts, but it was still too early to rank him among the breakouts of the tournament. Wanting to prove his stability, the Netherlands defender delivered his second super-duper performance. In the battle against Austria, Dumfries made an assist, leaving the pitch without having conceded a goal, and his team won 2-0. In the third match day, Denzel worked at the same top-notch level against North Macedonia and once again came away with a clean sheet. Dumfries could develop the success even further, but in the round of 16, the Netherlands lost to the Czech Republic 2-0 and were knocked off from the European Championship. Moreover, even in that clash, this guy tried his best and stood out against the background of his dull teammates. Denzel definitely shone his light at the tournament, and now he will be waiting for offers from big clubs. But unfortunately, we couldn't enjoy his game any longer. That's the reason Dumfries only got fifth spot on our list. Joachim Mela is a fullback for Atalanta and the national team of Denmark. But almost no one had heard of him until Euro 2020. We must say that is a shame. At the tournament, Joachim continues to amaze with his tactical flexibility, effective play on both flanks and scoring actions. In the starting two match days of the group stage, Denmark suffered two losses, but sorted things out in the third game and made it to the round of 16, even reaching the semi-finals later on. So that's why Mela was one of the main reasons for the rapid transformation. Joachim scored against Russia, Wales, and made an assist against the Czech Republic. At the same time, he manages to work hard in defence, and with his help, the Danes do not concede more than one goal per match at the current Euro campaign. Compared to Dumfries, who we mentioned earlier, Mela is lagging behind in terms of physical data, but he is no worse than the Dutch in playing qualities. In addition, we must honestly admit that the Dane doesn't have the same stellar partners as Denzel has, but Joachim achieved more impressive results and, together with his team, is still among the contenders to participate in the final. The Swiss national team was having a sensational Euro campaign, and huge credit must be given to their goalkeeper, Jan Sommer. Until this summer, he was quite famous for his performances at Borussia Mönchengladbach, but only now has he proved to the whole world how good he really is. Zomer made five appearances for Switzerland during this European Championships and made 21 saves, more than any other goalkeeper. There is, however, a contradiction which consists in the fact that Jan didn't give a single clean sheet game. But this fact can be covered by his brilliant move on penalty shootouts. In a 3-3 draw against France, Zomer saved Kylian Mbappe's kick and led his team to the quarter-finals. Well, there he and his team battled Spain and with a score of 1-1, again advanced to the penalty shootout stage. Besides, the goalkeeper already made 10 saves in 120 minutes of playing time, which is a record number in a single Euro match. Jan also saved two penalties in this post-match series, but he still suffered a defeat due to the fact that his partners did not take advantage of the Spaniards' mistakes and, in turn, conceded three times and lost 
After that, Zommer was sent home, but his efforts confirmed the well-known phrase, the goalkeeper is half of the team. We are sure that serious buyers are about to knock on his door very soon. In general, Jan endured the ball possession of the star opponents at the Euros, but he kept things up and made that unforgettable shocker in a clash against France with his own hands. For this alone, we are to award the Swiss third place. The case of the Czech striker Patrick Schick is somehow similar to Jan Zomer in that he also gained relative fame before playing at Euro 2020. This guy managed to perform from Sampdoria and Roma and Red Bull Leipzig. And since September last year, he has been with Bayer Leverkusen. At certain times, Schick was considered a very promising player, although certainly not a top-notch one. However, at the age of 25, Patrick was invited to participate with the Czech Republic at the European Championship, where he charmed everyone. He became the scorer of the longest goal in the history of the tournament, netted five accurate shots in five appearances, and generally carried the Czech Republic to the quarterfinals. But there, his team faced Denmark. And yet, Schick shared the first place in the scorer's race with Cristiano Ronaldo. And this is worth a lot. In fact, the whole sensation of the Czech Republic is connected with the goals of Patrick. And we are glad that his high time has finally come. Considering that no one expected anything from the Czechs or their leader, this was, by all means, an unbelievable performance. So friends, it's time to announce the name of the footballer who, in our humble opinion, turned out to be the main discovery of Euro 2020. This award goes to Italy's defender, Leonardo Spinazzola. At the club level, he would be familiar to Serie A supporters who may have noticed him in Juventus, Atalanta and Roma. But his name did not pop up to the general public. Leonardo burst into the Euros at the age of 28 and immediately showed that it was at this age that he reached his best form. His development is directly comparable to the rebirth of the Italian national team, because at the moment, Squadra Azzurra looks more energetic, creative and unstoppable in attack. We haven't seen the team so passionate for many years, and this is exactly how Spinazzola showed himself. Perfect defensive discipline, a huge amount of dangerous connections to the attacking attempts, and just a wild passion for the game. Leonardo provided these aspects from the very first Euro game. As a result, the Italian gave two assists in four appearances and twice received the Man of the Match award from UEFA. It is very sad that in the quarterfinal duel with Belgium, Spinazzola suffered an Achilles injury and will be out of action for a long time. His fantastic evolution in the tournament ended up in tears. But Italy continues to move towards the final, and we want Roberto Mancini's team to reach their goal and dedicate the trophy to Leonardo. That's all, friends. Thank you for watching. Wait for our new videos. We promise we won't disappoint you. Bye bye.